that's being coordinated with uh, immigration and Ministry of Foreign Affairs. We have that already planned set in place um, in terms of what will happen once they start arriving. Uh, we want to do it in an orderly kind of fashion. We don't want everybody to come at, at the same time because um, the, so the first undertaking is trying to get a census. That's the reason why people are asked to fill a form. Mm -hmm. um, they will be able to come um, uh, and where they actually live because um, for now the only entry points would seem to be the northern and western border. Uh, but most of the flow is actually coming to the northern border station. So um, we anticipate we're going to be having a higher number. Um, one of the plans is to see if we can move uh, people not only um, to Orange Walk, but also to Billy City, which is where we have the bigger hotels where people can stay. We would not be screening people with a, with a test um, upon arrival. I was going to ask that. Yeah. They won't be tested when they arrive? Not, not unless you have a sign or symptom. Uh, and we have had this discussion in the region um, to see how, how we would do it and how other countries are doing it. Uh, and it, it doesn't really make sense to swap arrival if you're still going to go to a quarantine facility um, because we're going to assume you're negative. When will we swap you is at day 14 when you're ready to come out. Because if you are negative, then you are free to go. But, but Because if I swab you and you're negative, you're still going to go to a quarantine facility. So you might just not be doing anything with, um, with doing a test um, upon arrival.